to parents teachers and pupils the mother was born in paris on february 21 1878 in a very materialistic upper middle class family She completed a thorough education of music, painting and higher mathematics. She later became acquainted with Max Theon, an enigmatic character with extraordinary occult powers who for the first time gave her a coherent explanation of the spontaneous experiences occurring since her childhood and who taught her occultism during two long visits to his estate in Algeria. In 1914 she visited the city of Pondicherry which was at that time a French colony in South India and met Sri Aurobindo She returned permanently to Pondicherry in 1920 via Japan and China and when Sri Aurobindo withdrew from outer contact in 1926 to devote himself to the supramental yoga she collaborated with him and at the same time organized and developed the ashram the mother is the author of several books prayers and meditations and on education are her short but important books she presided over the shri aurobindo international center of education in which hundreds of students studied the mother herself taught classes and her talks to the children constitute a series of nine books entitled question and answers she also wrote stories and short plays which were staged under her direction her plays are symbolic and bring out through meaningful dialogues a profound message in 1958 eight years after shri aurobindo's departure She in turn withdrew to her room to come to terms with the problem of evolution. From 1958 to 1973, she slowly uncovered the great passage to the next species and a new mode of life in matter and narrated her extraordinary exploration to her closest confidant Satprem. This tremendous document of 6000 pages in 13 volumes is called mother's agenda it is a document of experimental evolution and goes to the heart of the question of our times for whatever the appearances mankind is not at the end of a civilization but at the end of an evolutionary cycle are we going to find the passage to the next species or perish in 1968 Mother founded Auroville and declared in its charter that its aim was inter alia to be a site of perpetual education and youth that never ages. We present here a few extracts from the mother's book on education. The selected extracts give valuable insights into what parents and teachers should do in regard to education and children. 